Just imagine steaming juice of Baldwin sweet potatoes, wild asparagus, wild beans, wild this, wild that. I'm Heather Davis Fish, and I'm directing Ernestine Shushwab Gets Her Trout. Um, I chose Ernestine because I've always loved Thompson Highway's work. I was immediately attracted to the imagery and to how he kind of departs from his other works. It's much more abstract, it's much more almost expressionist than his other plays, but what it keeps is the core group of women that audiences met in the Res Sisters. The spirit that the women have and the strength of the women is still here, even though the play takes it in a more expressionist direction. I think also the story that the play tells is a really important story for the Fraser Valley and for BC because it tells us about a period of BC history that for many non-Indigenous people, it's an unfamiliar time. And for many Indigenous people, it's a story that's very important to tell at this point as questions about fishing rights and as questions about land claims are becoming very pressing questions in BC. My name's Jay Havens and I'm doing the scenography set design for the show. We are taking a lot of our inspiration for this show from the um, natural landscape of Kamloops and the area. At the moment I am sitting on a pile of pallets which is um, representing the rocks of the Fraser River up around the Thompson area. But we really like the look of the weathered um, and dilapidated kind of feel of the pallet. Um, I think it'll be a nice contrast to the costumes and uh, the type of floor that we're painting which will represent the river. I think for the actresses, this has been an interesting journey. Um, three of the four actresses are, are not of Aboriginal ancestry, so I know that they were very concerned with telling the stories of these characters in a respectful way and telling them in a good way. If you'd like a history lesson mixed in with some naughty jokes and show tunes, then this is the show for you. <laughs> <laughs> so come down and see the show in January 2013.